going to show you how to make a business card and we're going to use Inkscape to create it. Why Inkscape, which is the free vector-based software? The reason we use it is because of its flexibility. You can create one image, like this business card, but you can save it as many times as you want to using a number of different formats and from those formats you can produce a small icon say 16 pixels by 16 or a 10 foot billboard I don't know how many pixels would that, that would be but on anything in between and there will be no loss of crispness and that's why we like the flexibility of it. Although we're going to create a bus business card, the techniques I'm going to show you, you'll be able to use to create web headers, banners, or timeline photo covers, or brochures, posters, birthday cards, anything that you want to. So no more ado, uh, let's get cracking. Just going to move it slightly out the way so I've got a bit of room. And what I'm going to do is to go up to the rectangle tool, click on it and draw a rectangle. And what you see is some broken dotted lines. Not a rectangle like this. And the reason being is because Inkscape defaults to the previous colour used and I used white probably to do the text here and because of the white background you can't see it. I know it's white because if you look up here where it says fill there's white and down here there's white. So let's give us a colour and you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to give it a peach colour. Now you have your rectangle, but I want to round the corners like that. So I will click on the rectangle and can you see this little dot here? If I click and pull it down, you can see that the corners are coming rounded and if you take it all the way down there it becomes an ellipse. But we just want it there which makes it rather nice. Before we go any further I want to uh, draw your attention to this tool here. I click on it it's the select and transfer objects tool. This tool is the one that you will probably use the most because before you can do anything to an object you need to select it and you know it's selected because you have the box around it and these handles. A number of uses for the tool uh, one in particular is to be able to move it and if I do that that's what you can see. We will come on to other uses further on in the tutorial. So we've selected our object and what we need to do now is resize it. A business card is three and a half inches by two and a half inches and what I want to do is put the exact measurements in. So having selected I now go up to the tool control bar and you will see W and H which stands for width and height. And what I want to do is to put it into inches. Now if I click here you will see a range from millimetres, centimetres, feet, even metres. But we want in this instance inches. And I'm going to put in the W box 3.50 and press enter. And in the height box 2.0 and press enter. And if I click on it and drag it You'll see it's going to be the same as this one here. Earlier on I mentioned about changing the colour and that's what we're going to do hit now. Down the bottom you can see a palette of colours and if we scroll you can see that there's various shades in different ranges. 
and go across there you can see that. So that is one way of selecting colour. For example, you could have pink, you could have red, or you could have blue. Or there's a little arrow here which has got a drop down list. The one that's got the dot on it at the moment is the Inkscape default, which is this one. But there's a number of blues, golds, greys. Have fun by playing around with it. I'm going to click on the blue because that's what I want here. And I'm going to click. Th these are tiles. You can see them better here. But I'm just going to click on there and that looks something like that. As Caroline pointed out, there is another way of choosing colour here because, as in most programmes, there's more than one way of doing it. So we've got our blue. I'm going to stop the video here. In the next one, I'm going to show you how to bring in an image, resize it and place it. If you do have any questions or comments, pop over to our Facebook page and the address is coming up at the bottom or if you would like to email us email us at sisters at usefulgraphicdesigntutorials.com and that's also on the bottom so until the next video bye bye for now